Heavenly race, heavenly race. Keep me through, Lord Jesus, keep me through. Keep me through, Lord Jesus, keep me through. There's a race I must run. There's a victory to be won. Give me power every hour to be through. Lord, keep me through. Keep me through, keep me through. Lord, keep me through. There's a victory to be won. Give me power every hour to be through. Please keep me through. Keep me through, Jesus, keep me through. I must run, there's a victory to be won. Every hour to be through, it is no longer I. Liveth, but Christ that liveth in me. It is no longer I that liveth, but Christ that liveth in me. In me. That liveth, but Christ that liveth in me, in me. But Christ that liveth in me, it is no longer I that liveth. In me, in me, both Christ, there is nothing, there is nothing, there is nothing in my life that belongs to this world of sin. There is nothing, nothing, nothing in my life that belongs to this world of sin. In my life, God gives me joy. In my heart, God gives me peace. And the hope to see his face keeps me pure. There is nothing, nothing, nothing in my life that belongs to this world of sin. That belongs to this world of sin. There is nothing, nothing, nothing in my life In my life, God gives me joy. In my heart, God gives me peace. And the hope to see his face keeps me pure. There is nothing, nothing, nothing in my life that belongs to this world of sin, of sin.
Amen. Song. In number 180, gospel hymns and song, number 180. Since the Son has made me free, since the Son has made me free, let me taste my liberty. They behold with open face, triumph in the saving grace, thy great with the light to prove glory in thy perfect love. Our Father, hear thy child, let in Jesus reconcile, hear, and all the graces showers, all the joy and peace and power, all my Savior ask above, all the life and heaven of love. Heavenly Adams, life divine, change my nature into thine, move and spread throughout my soul. Actuate and free the old, be it I no longer now, living in the flesh, but thou, Holy Ghost, no more delay. Come and in thy temple stay, not thine in what witness bear, strong and permanent and clear. Spring of life, thyself in part, rise. Interna in my heart.
But before we read, shall we just have a moment of prayer? Father, we are asking that you will open our eyes of understanding as we read your word today. We are asking that relevant passages that really speak to our present needs and problems, spiritually and physically and materially, you will impress upon our hearts. Be with us, enlighten us, instruct us, teach us as we read together now. In Jesus' name, I pray. We'll continue with the reading now. Genesis chapter 27. Genesis chapter 27. And it came to pass that when Isaac was old and his eyes were dim so that he could not see, he called Esau his eldest son and said unto him, My son. And he said unto him, Behold, here am I. And he said, Behold now, I am old. I know not the day of my death. Now therefore take, I pray thee, thy weapons, thy quiver, and thy bow, and go out to the field, and take me some venison, and make me savory meat, such as I love, and bring it to me, that I may eat, that my soul may bless thee before I die. And Rebekah heard when Isaac spake to Esau his son, and Esau went to the field to hunt for venison and to bring it. And Rebekah spake unto Jacob her son, saying, Behold, I heard thy father speak unto Esau thy brother, saying, Bring me venison, and make me savory meat that I may eat, and bless thee before the Lord before my death. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice according to that which I command thee. Go now to the flock, and fetch me from thence two good kids of the goats, and I will make them savory meat for thy father, such as he loveth. And thou shalt bring it to thy father, that he may eat, and that he may bless thee before his death. And Jacob said to Rebekah his mother, Behold, Esau my brother is a hairy man, and I am a smooth man. My father peradventure will feel me, and I shall seem to him as a deceiver, and I shall bring a curse upon me, and not a blessing. And his mother said unto him, Upon me be thy curse, my son. Only obey my voice, and go fetch me them. And he went, and fetched, and brought them to his mother. And his mother made savory meat, such as his father loved. And Rebekah took goodly raiment of her eldest son Esau, which were with her in the house, and put them upon Jacob. And she put the skins of the kids of the goats upon his hands and upon the smooth of his neck. And she gave the savory meat and the bread which she had prepared into the hand of her son Jacob. And he came unto his father and said, My father. And he said, Here am I. Who art thou, my son? And Jacob said unto his father, I am Esau, thy firstborn. I have done according as thou badest me. Arise, I pray thee, sit and eat of my venison, that thy soul may bless me. And Isaac said unto his son, How is it that thou hast found it so quickly, my son? And he said, Because the Lord thy God brought it to me. And Isaac said unto Jacob, Come near, I pray thee, that I may feel thee, my son, whether thou be my very son Esau or not. And Jacob went near unto Isaac his father, and he felt him, and said, The voice is Jacob's voice, but the hands are the hands of Esau. And he discerned him not, because his hands were hairy as his brother Esau's hands. So he blessed him, and he said, Art thou my very son Esau? And he said, I am. And he said, Bring it near to me, and I will eat of my son's venison, that my soul may bless thee. And he brought it near to him, and he did eat, and he brought him wine, and he drank. And his father Isaac said unto him, Come near now and kiss me, my son. And he came near and kissed him, and he smelled the smell of his raiment, and blessed him and said, See, the smell of my son is as the smell of a field which the Lord hath blessed. Therefore God give thee of the dew of heaven, 
and the fatness of the earth, and plenty of corn and wine. Let people serve thee, and nations bow down to thee. Be Lord over thy brethren, and let thy mother's sons bow down to thee. Cursed be every one that curseth thee, and blessed be he that blesseth thee. And it came to pass, as soon as Isaac had made an end of blessing Jacob, and Jacob was yet scarce gone out from the presence of Isaac his father, that Esau his brother came in from his hunting. And he also had made savory meat, and brought it unto his father, and said unto his father, Let my father arise, and eat of his son's venison, that thy soul may bless me. And Isaac his father said unto him, Who art thou? And he said, I am thy son, thy firstborn Esau. And Isaac trembled very exceedingly and said, Who? Where is he that hath taken venison and brought it me? And I have eaten of all before thou camest and have blessed him. Yea, and he shall be blessed. And when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a great and exceeding bitter cry and said unto his father, Bless me, even me also, O my father. And he said, Thy brother came with subtlety and hath taken away thy blessing. And he said, Is not he rightly named Jacob? For he hath supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright, and behold, now he hath taken away my blessing. And he said, Hast thou not reserved a blessing for me? And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy lord, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants, and with corn and wine have I sustained him. And what shall I do now unto thee, my son? And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shalt thou live and shalt serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. And these words of Esau, her elder son, were told to Rebekah. And she sent and called Jacob, her younger son, and said unto him, Behold, thy brother Esau, as touching thee, doth comfort himself purposing to kill thee. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice, and arise. Flee thou to Laban, my brother, to Haran, and tarry with him a few days, until thy brother's fury turn away, until thy brother's anger turn away from thee, and he forget that which thou hast done to him. Then I will send and fetch thee from thence. Why should I be deprived also of you both in one day? And Rebekah said to Isaac, I am weary of my life because of the daughters of Heth. If Jacob take a wife of the daughters of Heth, such as these which are of the daughters of the land, what good shall my life do me? You have just listened to the Bible reading, and we need to take whatever we have learned to the Lord in prayer. Will you all rise up, please? Talk to the Lord in prayer. You've seen a commandment, a warning, an example, an instruction to obey, a promise to claim, pray for grace that you will do as you are blanched in the word of God. In Jesus' name we pray.
steps you hold me it's my peace design and he will help you make the best of it don't rage in storms may blow no matter what's the way it's never quit forever onward go there is no problem on the whole with life's challenges. Humankind grapples with life's experiences. But a smile when victory is in sight. Affirms the soothing conquest strides. God will put a smile on your face. It's that time of the year to secure God's promises for your needed victory. I will see your blind eyes open. That cancer and that swelling, I will see it removed out of your body in Jesus' name. The smile. This August. Even before the prayer, the power will operate in your life. Now's your time to rise and smile. And of course, when we come to the final, amen. To my right, to my left, and online. You will never be the same again in Jesus' name. An August visitor. This August. He's the GCK Kavina, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi. He comes in triumphant power by Christ's redemption, ministering along with our guest music minister, Cornelius Cross. The sun will shine from the Sunshine State live from Anglican Grammar School, Ondo State, Southwest Nigeria. That's the location for the next Global Crusade, 25th to 30th August, 2022. 1600 hours GMT day and 0700 hours GMT Sunday worship service. It's a GCK gift. Something from heaven. A gift from heaven. Grace from heaven. Power from heaven. Package just for you. Every man, every woman, every child, youth and young adult and broadcast to the world live via satellite social media radio and television all the states of nigeria all the countries of africa america asia australia canada euro caribbeans in the arab world everywhere put a smile on every face so join us and let gck take you higher as we triumph through christ's redemptive power as we now bring you Deeper Life Bible Church Choir Ministrations from nations across the world. From the breaking of the dead to the setting of the sun, I will stand on every promise of
trust in God, wherever I may be, up on the land, or on the stormy sea, then come what may. Will put a smile on your face. Now 
your tongue. Jesus, know your tongue. The tongue to testify. Come down. 
Praise the Lord. Oh, we can't take that. We shouldn't allow the cold to catch our voice and drown us in liturgy. This is triumphant power through Jesus Christ. And this is the gospel according to Ondo City, Ondo Kingdom. Praise the Lord! We are transmitting to the globe all the cities in 150 nations of this world, various communities, families, households, right from Ondo State, Ondo Town, Ondo Kingdom. Ondo Kingdom is now on world map all over the world. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Amen. We have testimonies tonight, but we just leave this time now for online testimonies. Online testimonies only tonight, this session. It's a foretaste of the deluge of testimonies coming. After the man of God has prayed tonight, we're going to have a flood of miracles. Those who will get one will say louder, Amen. I'm getting one tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go online. It's happening everywhere, and as the moderator said, we are all getting it. And we'll take you now to testimonies happening online on the GS Facebook page. Bagji Ajayi received healing from a problem that he had had for a very long time. Bagji could not raise his hands. After the prayer of the man of God, just before he could even go to the hospital, he became completely whole. Dayo Belu was diagnosed of high blood pressure. But just after the triumphant prayer last night, Dayo went to check the blood pressure and miraculously, drastically as he wrote, the blood pressure came back to normal. Dayo is rejoicing. Douglas Dakuruyu from Isoko Delta State, Nigeria, had had severe waist pain for five years. This had defied medical attention and it also had a right chest pain which the medical doctor according to him had told him was a major problem. He brought that major problem to the triumphant ground and triumphant power totally dissolved the problem by the power of God. After the prayers last night Douglas is writing and saying, the Lord has done it. All the problems together are now confirmed by the medical practitioners as completely disappeared. Praise the Lord. We now take you to South South Nigeria, Cross River State. Cross River State, South South Nigeria, live. Reverend, praise the Lord. My heart is full of joy. I'm so excited this evening to testify for the goodness of God, what the Lord has done in my life. My name is Sister Gloria Tum. I am not a member of Deeper Life, but I came to a program of last month. I have a very serious pain, sickness on my body. It scratches, very severe scratches, pains. And these scratches was going with serious pain. It scratched me all over my body. Everywhere was paining me. Everywhere. And I, I applied medication. It was still going on, paining me. I scratched my body, body, and very severe pain. Praise the Lord. It was last month's program. I attended the program. It was on Saturday. The Lord visited me. And he laid his hand upon me. And I was healed. The Lord healed me. I don't feel the scratches again. It was after the man of God said we should lay hand wherever he's paining us and lift our hand up after the preaching. And I lay my hand there. And when I went home, I said that it is finished. Praise the Lord. 
I want to thank the God of Kumeye. I say, God bless him for what God is using Dr. Pastor Kumeye to do. I say, may his name be the Lord, may the Lord name be highly exalted. God should use him more and more unto his glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Staying in the south-south part of Nigeria, we go to Benin City for another testimony. Benin City, live. Hello. My name is Mrs. Zedome from Benin East Region, Edo State. I'm here to testify of the glory of God in my life. God has really helped me. Last, my daughter has been having problems. The problem my whole daughter had was that she was in school. Somebody pronounced evil against her that she would not be able to go to school. Since that time, when she got to school, after some months, she discovered that each time she reads, she does not understand. Her, her things remain like that. One day, me, I didn't know. One day, I just took my phone and said, let me call my daughter. When I called my daughter, I started asking her question. It was then she told me. He said, presently, she cannot read. And even when she reads, she does not understand. And the little she even understand, when she get to the examination hall, she no not remember anything. I told her, I said, my daughter, God said that you'll be 10 times better than your equals. That's what you should be thinking, that I will be praying for her. Actually, I left after that, I, 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 I cut off the call. Since that, they have been praying for her. I was trusting God. At times when myself and my husband want to pray, we lead, I normally raise up that request. We were praying for months. It was as if the storm was there. But I thank God. Last global uh, crusade I've just end, uh, ended, that was last month. So I was in the house of God. When the GS wanted to pray, he said, anywhere where the pray you, may you put your hand there, I may raise the other hand. I tell God, I say, God, my daughter not there here, but this my hand, I want to put her for my brain on behalf of my daughter. And I can't put in the hand there. I tell you, I see wonder. Praise the Lord. So when the man of God can't pray for us, finish my sister. After that day, my daughter called me. He said, Mommy, I read, I understand. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Not only that, he said the test, the paper what they do for exam. He said she got A. And uh, he said many people fail that paper. He said uh, apart from that, as I, he said last the night, he said she read for five hours. She not tired. And she just didn't understand. God is greater than man. Praise the Lord. Turn to the moderator. Praise the Lord. We have heard. And now, very soon, we shall see in our own lives the triumphant power of Jesus Christ will run the wonders. In my life, in my own life, the Lord will confirm it in all our lives in Jesus' name. The choir now.
Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Tonight is the second night of this global crusade. And I want to stir up your faith by assuring you tonight that God will do exceedingly and abundantly beyond what you can ask or think tonight. Do you believe that with me? If you believe that, say, God can. God can. When you can't move the mountains that is standing in your way, I came to tell you, God can. I say God can. And when you can turn your darkness into the light of day, I got good news for you. God can. I say God can. Listen, God can. God can. When you can't find the answers to all your doubts and fears, God can. Tell me, God can. When you are needing someone to wipe away your tears, God can. Oh, I believe him. God can. Come on, sing it. God, God can do what I do for broken okay. oh, okay. oh, when you can find the courage to make a brand new star sing okay. oh, I know. by his spirit that you do all things yes you can